are from the front lines in the northeastern city of Kharkiv. A father sits beside the body of his teenage son. He won't let go of his hand. The deadly strike on Ukraine's second largest city comes as Russia made its clearest comments yet that it's preparing to annex more of the country. Now the geography is different. It's not just about Luhansk and Donetsk. It's also the Kherson and Zaporizhia regions and a number of other territories. And the process is continuing. Uh, despite what we heard in the run-up to this war, this war is nothing more uh, than a war of territorial conquest. We've been clear that annexation by force would be a gross violation of the UN Charter. Uh, and we would not allow it to go unchallenged, we would not allow it to go unpunished. The CIA says its intelligence shows Vladimir Putin launched his special operation based on profoundly flawed assumptions, particularly concerning Ukrainian resistance. The spy agency estimates 15,000 Russian soldiers have been killed and 45,000 injured. However, Moscow disputes those figures. The bottom line is uh, the cost is very high. The gains are very low. Uh, there is a grinding war of attrition that is occurring. Uh, the Ukrainians are making the Russians pay for every inch of territory that they gain. And with the help of Western weaponry, it's fighting to claw back that lost land. Melinda Nusifora, TRT World.